tell you from personal experience that when you put something off and say, well, I'll just wait till tomorrow, I'll go home and talk about it, go home and think about it, you're not going to feel peace about this. You're going to be nagged about it and bugged about it and you're going to kick yourself because you didn't listen, because you didn't go, because you didn't pray at that time that the Lord was telling you to pray. There's some things that my grandma wrote that really touched my heart and there's in particular in a little Bible she gave me in the very back of it. She said of some things that can't come back to you. One was the sped arrow. Another was the spoken word. And another one was the missed opportunity. Don't take a chance on missing out on an opportunity of a lifetime. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Allow God to work in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is here. Amen. Brother Eric, do you want to let everybody know what's going on out there? Just tell them to come out. Okay, well, what we want to do now I don't know if I can get help with some music or something like that. We want to take up an offering, a love offering for Brother Eric, uh, for his ministry, to bless him. And uh, he's, if you say, well, I didn't get a chance and I didn't bring an extra check with me, you can bring it tonight. He's going to be here tonight. We'll take up another offering for him this evening. But I'd like to take up an offering to bless him and his ministry and what he does. Uh, he does it full time. He's not like me. I'm bivocational. I would work at Walgreens 40 hours a week plus, okay? But he does this 100% of the time. He is totally sold out, on the road every day, gone the largest part of the year, away from his home, out in that great city, Seattle, Washington. <laughs> but we want to bless his ministry. So, um... I don't know where the offering couches are. Sister Penny, are they are they in here? I can go get them. Okay. So I'll have to get some help on some music. And if you would, uh, if you want to... What time is the service for that change? Service is at 5.30. Okay? Just like normal. There won't be Rangers or Impact. But we'll have stuff for kids in the kids' rock room. Okay? So we want to bless him. If I, something else, um, if you want to write a check uh, to him... Don't, I don't want I don't want to mess with it in the church. Uh, we used to make it to take a stand ministries. Okay, take a stand. Yes. Well, it's not what I'm going to talk about tonight. But when you deal with uh, what's going on in evangelical churches, what's being called evangelical, this is really important for you to understand what I'm going to say this evening. So please come back if you can. Because as we deal with postmodernism, that's something everybody in this culture has been affected by. And if you don't know what that word means, when I begin to define it and put it together for you, this is what's happened every time I've given this message now, which is probably about eight or ten times. This new thing I'm going to do this evening. People come up and say, the lights came on and I realize what's going on. It's one of those moments for you. It's not because I'm so great about it, but it's just like I got the information there that will help you understand the culture. So we're going to shoot the video two days after I get back from this trip. I don't have the video of yet. But it is really important stuff that it'll be the things you can use right down where the rubber meets the road. Uh, also, something else, if you uh, can't come this evening but you want to give a, an offering to the ministry, I can take it through your debit card or, or whatever at my table as well. So if you want to do it that way. That's the way I operate. I don't carry checks around. I use the debit card for everything. So I'll be out there and you can come talk to me. Thank you. All right, Brother Craig, Brother Richard, if you care to do this.
anything you want to say about your stuff on the table or just want to talk to him out there? Okay. Alright. So go by and see Eric. I get some of his information and see the stuff he has. It's pretty awesome. Very awesome. 530. Have a good day. God bless you all.